Welcome back to Detroit Garage. Dino day today. We're testing out the uh, Silver Series 453T. Uh, we've advanced the camshaft timing and we've retarded the injector timing to 1.5. And we're going to do a run. It's got the old uh, Borg Warner 364 on it off the 6.4. So we're just going to run this. So we've got the camshaft advance one tooth and we've installed the bypass blower bypass on this. So we're going to do uh, the couple of runs on it and see how it performs. Not sure. I don't know how it's going to perform to be honest. Well, there's the airbox cover that's modified. I have no idea how this is going to do. There's no, there's no information on this. Uh, for advanced camshaft timing, the only engines I see in the uh, the manuals are the uh, naturally aspirated engines. So there's nothing for the uh, the turbo engines. So we're going to try this out, see what it does. I have no idea. I'll set you guys down and we'll get started.
It's a dog. Didn't make much power at all, guys. Just, just ridiculous. So, what I'll do next is advance the, the uh, injection timing to 1.48, uh, 1.484. Try that. But uh, I'll show you the numbers. It's uh, not very good at all. Yeah. <laughs> Horrible numbers, not good, not good. So the blower bypass worked really good. So turbo boost, air box, and drive pressure were all the same until I really lugged it down hard uh, or with no load at a, you know, 2,500. So yeah, just no power. It made uh, 230 horse at uh, 2,400 RPM with uh, straight diesel and 500 foot-pounds of torque at 1800. Uh, with water meth at 500, it made 230 horse, the same as the, uh, the straight diesel, and 520 foot-pounds of torque, so 20 foot-pounds more torque. And then with the 1,000 cc's, it was the same, uh, you know, you couldn't tell the difference between 500 and 1,000. There's just no, no appreciative uh, difference. Top EGTs with straight diesel was uh, 900, and then 850, 800, 850 with uh, the, the methanol, water meth. So peak uh, boost at the peak horsepower was 20 PSI. At 1800, it was 15 psi. So, I'll try changing the timing on the injectors, and then uh, that'll be for the next run. The uh, temperature gauge just quit for this run. I hate try. I don't like running it without the uh, temp gauge because uh, it's really hot in here, like very hot. And I'm just using the IR gun to try to figure out what the temp is. Uh, I suspect it's okay, but I'm going to replace the uh, uh, temp gauge. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, disappointing numbers. <laughs> uh, so I'll look at the emissions on the camera and see if it's close to what it was before. But uh, it runs really nice. It just doesn't have any power. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, for those size of injectors it's got no power so what I'm gonna do for the next uh, video is uh, advance the injector timing to 1.484 and, and try that see what it does well there you have it guys uh, so far it's a fail <laughs> so, no power Anyway, thanks for checking in. We'll catch you on the next video. Take care.